Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back, and today I want to talk to y'all about mocking up those leather patch hats. This has been something that I've been working on for a few weeks now because I'm tired of cutting patches and either using double-sided tape to showcase them or having to go through and actually press them on a hat. As you know, hats can run anywhere between four to six, upwards to eight dollars for some people depending on how you're buying them. And the leather at and leather that we use does not come cheap as well. Plus you think of your cutting time and your pressing time and it's just a freaking lot. So I have a foolproof way for you to take your designs, create a mock-up, and then utilize a few programs on the web to get those ready for your website or wherever you're selling so you just don't have a stack of freaking patches like I do hanging around. So with all that being said, I'm gonna head over to my computer screen and we'll get started. All right, so first things first, I have my patch design here. So if you look at this, the black is going to be what is engraved on the actual patch and the red outline is going to be the cut line. I'm utilizing Inkscape. This is an older version, but this will work on 1.3 or whatever you're running with and it is a free to use program. All right, so the next thing that you want to do is you wanna to go to Google, unless you have a good picture of the leather, and you wanna just type in whatever your color is. So for me, I'm using the rawhide leatherette, so rawhide leatherette sheet, and you just want to go to tools, and you wanna make sure that that image size is large because we're gonna go ahead and resize it. I'm gonna right click on this one that I found and click on copy. I'm gonna go back in Inkscape and I'm gonna paste that. Hopefully it's not humongous or, and it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down. And this is just so we have the highest quality that we can have. And I'm gonna send that to the back. And then I'm going to place this on the leatherette, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm going to take the stroked background, hold my shift key down, select the leatherette. Now, one thing you might want to do, I didn't think about this, is duplicate everything that's on the sheet. That way you can use it again. If you're doing multiple patches, um, this is helpful. So I think I did about 20 of these last night. Take that, select the background, go to object, clip, set clip. Similarly, you can select the outline, hold down shift, select the leatherette, right click and go to set clip. And then you have your patch. What I like to do then is just group these together and then I'm going to actually increase the size quite a bit. And the reason why is because I want a good quality export here. So to export, you can hit Control Shift E or Echo on your keyboard and your export is going to come up. You want to make sure that you have selection checked, that your DPI is uh, 300, though that doesn't really matter because we're not, you know, printing this stuff out. And then you're just gonna wanna find a good folder to save that in. So I'm just going to make a new folder of mock-up patches. And I'm gonna save that as blue collar guy patch. And that's gonna go ahead and export. Now that we have that, we can move into place it. So I can close out of this. And you do have to pay to use some of these mockups. So I have a link in the description that y'all can utilize um, that will help. But all you wanna do here is I'm gonna search for 6606 hat. That is the hat type that I use. And you'll see the different mockups they have for the 6606 hat. If I type in Richardson hat, you can see that they also have a bunch of different mock-ups for um, their Richardson hats as well. You would just have to kind of scroll through and choose which one that you like. You could also just type in trucker hat and there's a bunch of different resources here that you can utilize, okay? So you don't necessarily have to utilize some of people. They do have mock-ups without people 
in them. And while it isn't the exact image of a Richardson or a potential a Yupong, um, you catch the drift. So we'll just go ahead and click on this one. Quick shout to Gary for my awesome cup. Drinking my coffee. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go ahead and do the hat color in um, like a blue color. We're gonna do the visor color in that same blue color. And then I'm gonna do the mesh color in that silver color. And I'm gonna make sure that my background is set to white. All right, here's where the magic happens. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload the design. And it's gonna be pretty large. What you're gonna see is a preview here in the bottom corner. So you can actually see what this looks like as it goes through. And we're just gonna go ahead and shrink that down. Sometimes this can be a little bit finicky. Um, the live preview wasn't always a thing, but it is now. So it's helpful when you're actually placing these things because then you can see what it actually looks like. The only limitation I don't like is I can't really get a good side uh, placement for this. So like if I was to drag this off the crop area, you're gonna see it kind of crop out, okay? So this might not be a very good mock-up to use because this is actually one that I prefer to place on the side. So let me go back and do a different one real quick. Go ahead and upload this design. Shrink her down. A little bit. And then I'm just going to move that where I need it to be. Get it up and going. It's pretty good. Going to click on crop. Go ahead and download that. So that's going to go ahead and process. I'm going to go back and do one more. So it's actually going to insert my last design on here, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and do the hat color and the visor color the same way that I did. We'll do the mesh color, that same silver color. We'll keep the sweatshirt color and then we're gonna go ahead and make that background. Well, let's change that to like maybe a pinkish color. There we go. And that's pretty straightforward, okay? I, I mean, that was quick as I'll get out, which is nice when you're working with one design. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Now I'm gonna go into Photo Room and I'm gonna click on Select Photo. I'm gonna go to my downloads and I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna go to Instant Backgrounds. And I'm just going to tape standing in a pharmacy. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and see what that looks like. I mean, the wording sucks in the background, but I guess that's to be expected with AI. This one's a little bit more blurred out, but you can tell that there's a pharmacy in the background, so I like that. So you can go ahead and click on download, and it's going to download and you're ready to rock and roll. Then you can use that as your mock-up. So overall, a pretty straightforward process. You don't necessarily have to go through all of those steps with PlaySit and um, PhotoRim. Like you can go ahead and download mockups of people wearing the blank trucker hats. The thing that makes it easy on PlaySit is you can change the color of the hat very easily. And if you get the hex colors of the hats that you're utilizing, you can go ahead and change those colors very easily as well. But this will definitely save you a lot of time and materials if you go through this process. It's very straightforward. I will post links down below for PlaySit and Photo Room. And if y'all need anything else, just let me know. Drop a comment in the comments box below to let me know if this was helpful and if there's anything else that you're looking for. So if there's anything else I can do for y'all, let me know. I will catch y'all in the next video. Shooting Star SVG, signing out. Thank you.